On September 16, 2019, little five-year-old Dulce Maria Lovez was playing in a Bridgeton, New Jersey park with her younger brother, while her mother sat in a car 30 yards away, with another eight-year-old relative. A few minutes later, her mother went to check on them, but Dulce Maria was gone. Um, I can't find my daughter. We were murdered here at the park and people said that somebody, probably somebody took her. Surveillance video shows Dulce Maria getting ice cream at a store with her mother, her three-year-old brother and an eight-year-old relative. Around 4 p.m. that day, they went to Bridgeton City Park where Dulce Maria played with her brother. Some time later, the young brother returned to the car without Dulce Maria. The police were called soon after that. The FBI issued an Amber Alert, and Dulce Maria's mother described a man about 5 foot 6 inches tall, wearing orange sneakers, red pants and a black shirt. Police say, the man may have led Dulce Maria from the playground, to a red van with a sliding door and tinted windows. Dulce Maria's family, and community members organize prayer vigils and offer reward money, around $35,000, for any information leading to the identification or conviction of a suspect. The FBI added Dulce Maria to its most wanted missing persons list. Dulce Maria's mother speaks out for the first time at a press conference. I know she wants to come back home because she doesn't, she doesn't like being far away from her family. I beg you all please don't give up on my Dulce, let's keep pushing to find her safe. The reward money offered by her family, and the community, increases to $52,000. New Jersey State Police release a sketch of a possible witness, who was allegedly at the park at the time Dulce Maria disappeared, but investigators have not yet found that person. Dulce Maria's mother, Nima Lavez Perez, went on the Dr. Phil show, where she revealed her suspicions that, an old friend may have taken Dulce Maria. Almost three months since Dulce Maria disappeared, the community organized and passed around flyers with pictures of Dulce Maria, during a citizen search and citizen march in Bridgeton. They also marched to the mayor's office, to demand support, for the dwindling search. It's really hard for us, because we're not even getting any answers no more, like we used to. The reward money offered by her family, and the community, also increased to $75,000. Bridgeton Mayor, Albert Kelly, also said that... Dulce would never be forgotten, never be forgotten. He was also asked by Dulce Maria's mother, whether he was putting cameras in the park. Yes, we are looking to see how we can make that happen. New Jersey State Police confirmed that this week they have followed up on some psychics tips about missing five-year-old Dulce Maria. A woman who says that she can speak with the dead, says a missing girl who disappeared last year, September 16 was raped, strangled and buried behind her elementary school. The girl told me, Dulce Maria told me, that she is buried behind the school she attended. The woman says in Spanish on the 16-minute video that she uploaded to her Marcy Spiritual Guide channel on YouTube. The woman in the video says the abductor had staked out Dulce Maria for some time and that he tricked her into going into his truck by calling her by her name and telling her that her mother had sent him to get her. On Tuesday, February 4, volunteers searched a wooded area behind Dulce Maria's school, 
Bakshudan Road School, where she attended kindergarten. Two days later, Bridgeton Chief of Police, Michael Gaymari Sr., updated the investigation on Facebook. He wrote that psychic investigators have come forward with negative social media posts and information connected to the disappearance of the missing girl, who went missing from the 1,000-acre Bridgeton City Park. According to the report, police did not help with the search, but Gaymari said that the area had already been checked and school staff members were vetted. Law enforcement understands that the lack of information on the whereabouts of Dulcane, or the definite circumstances surrounding her disappearance causes apprehension in the community and among those close to her and the family, but we have to remain focused on the task at hand and relied on a factual-based investigation to attain an eventual conclusion. Bridgeton Chief of Police Michael Gaymari Sr. said, Ohio authorities searched the woods near a casino Friday and Saturday after receiving a tip regarding Dulce Maria. The search occurred after the public library and the Hollywood Casino received letters that Dulce Maria could possibly be in the area. Police say an investigation was ongoing to determine if the letters were mailed or dropped off. The search occurred near the Hollywood Gaming Casino and Horse Racetrack in Austin Town, Ohio. Austin Town is approximately 70 miles southeast of Cleveland. Police searched the area with detection dogs, but they came up empty-handed. No significant evidence has come forward to indicate where Dulce Maria may be, but the case remains under investigation by the Cumberland County Prosecutor's Office, State Police, Bridgeton Police and the FBI.